Simply exploring and adventuring with Lewis. And today we're coming to you from that yet. I'm not sure if that's private property. But I believe that might be that part of the private property here. Going back down carefully. And then I'm gonna figure out how to do the loop on the loop that continues. Put my foot on something there. Uh, 
I'm not sure if there's like a also a side trail that goes up toward the overlook right there and takes you to the uh, butterfly meadow. I don't see a. Well, I do kind of see a, tr a trail right there. So that could be. Oh yeah, I see where it goes now. So it probably comes probably comes down from up there, follows down, and then follows that meadow. So what we're gonna do is head back, like we're gonna go to that. So back to the uh, parking lot there. Sorry. Oh, this is what I wanted to see because. No. Because I see that there's a trail on the opposite side over there, but we'll follow this way first. And then because I know it comes around to, to this side of the trail. There's a trail on that side of the, of the creek. So we're just going to walk around and see. I really don't want to have to walk alongside of the road if there's a an actual trail that ends up over there in some at some point. Now I don't know if there's a trail map or not for this. I didn't really look online to see if there was a because there's nothing marked here other than by these pathways that are you know these grassways as I like to call them. And there is a big pond or lake down the road here. But like I said, I'm not sure how this pathway goes at this point because I, I didn't, I only explored this section so far. I have yet to find the way this continues. But to me, it looks like we follow alongside of the road here. Although it would have been nicer to follow along that side, but we'll follow what the sign says. Even if it means going alongside of the road here on Warwick Road. Like I said, there is private property up there right by the overlook, so you can't really go around other places that way but it looks like it does follow via the road which I don't want to be on so I'll just I forgot how far it is I had thought about bringing my vehicle and parking it here on Warwick that way I could just do that loop I just did, come back and then to follow this to where it's supposed to go. But like I said, I'll find out more and more as I get closer down the road here. Oh, wow, look at these tall grasses here. Now, I believe I had seen, uh, but that could be because it's on private property over there. There's a trail that goes that way but I know this connects to something else this way there's a there's a pond up ahead I believe that we will be able to go around but I kind of found that odd oh wait a minute am I even recording yeah I am okay, I, see. I found that odd hey, the birds bird feeder that it, it doesn't connect you know but I know I can understand because of the, the the property lines are over there people don't, don't I mean the conservancy wants to respect those property lines because after all they're here to help conserve 
these type of lands here that are slowly and surely disappearing to uh, overdevelopment. I mean, I know we need places to live, but I mean, with population also growing. I can kind of see why they would want to not disturb that too much. Jeez. <laughs> Guy in the truck drove practically on the other lane just to avoid me. I said, I'm far enough in where he can still drive by. But I'm glad he did at least and he thought about that. Now, I know I really shouldn't be doing this right now with my leg because I know tomorrow I'm going to have physical therapy, so let's see what happens there. Now there's no signage here, but there's another road that intersects right here with um, Warwick Road, but I'm not sure what road that is myself, so I have to investigate what road that is. Oh, wow. Me talking, I was like about to miss this. It's just like a little runoff here from the creek that comes over the little stream that comes right through that property over there and now I'm gonna have to kind of walk a little bit alongside the road here And at some point, I'll be turning this this view around and I'll be able to talk to you and you'll be able to see me walking, not just a, a roadway here and there. I said, I, I know there's a big pond here somewhere. I've actually stopped and photo took pictures of it I like to say photograph it too I did photograph it before and it was gonna be originally part of my banner for uh, my YouTube channel as a banner as I loved that view and it was during the winter months too so it was like partly frozen over and you could see, you know see the sections of ice still floating on top and other sections where you know the ice i guess didn't freeze up as much but yeah i i don't think we're going to be able to go to the other side except over there to that loop um where the uh, pond is at. And unfortunately I have to walk alongside the road here. And here's the creek. I gotta figure out what creek this is, but When I do, I'll put the name of it in the uh, in the video itself. So I was asked this morning by a 
co-worker if I was planning to go hiking and I'm like well my my leg is feeling good enough but I don't want to overdo it either I see a wire here. I don't know if that's an electric fence or some of sorts. I'm not sure. I'm not going to test fate either. So I'm going to try to stay here on the edge. Here comes the vehicle now, so I'm just moving over. It's just a string, okay. I thought it was a wire, but it's just a string. Probably for leveling the post or whatever. We're basically on a back road here, so. Not sure how much of this footage is gonna stay in. Just a guy walking down a country road. <laughs> yeah, and I think I should have brought my vehicle instead to avoid this walking, but this is what it's about anyway. It's being out in nature. And we are approaching the, uh, the pond now. We are approaching, I see it in the distance already, nearby distance. Let me get in the side of the road here. It's a good thing people see you and they do. Yeah, I know, and my boss will probably say when he sees this in a few weeks or whatever, whenever this gets up there. I'm trying to create a backlog here somewhat with me being down in a, in a cast for two weeks. I kind of lost some of that time, you know, with the spring here. Um, I lost some of that time to do some videoing so i figured i'd come to this place because this is it too bad of a hike here where my leg will be okay with it i'm trying to give it some some uh some exercise as well as good amount of rest And it looks like that patch that we just that we just uh, went to uh, what's in here oh uh, look how crystal clear that water is right now Now I've got to figure out how am I going to get in here because it does continue in here but it looks like it might be locked or something but I might have to it's obviously catch and relief and stuff so and like you see there's a trail that goes all alongside around the, the pond here I guess it's a pond and this is conservancy property not sure why it's the gates not open right now and the last time I was here during the winter months shooting that that gorgeous scene actually let me head back and get some 
beautiful shots here of the pond. I don't know, I think it's a lake. It looks more like just a pond. And I'm sure it has a place where, it can, look at that, an Oriole. Or Robin, one of them too. See, I thought it would have continued over there from the overlook alongside, along their property, but I don't blame them. I mean, why would you? I want, I mean, I don't mind if it was my property, I wouldn't mind people enjoying it too, just as long as they're respectful of the barriers. Whoa, whoa. Look at that. Look at that turtle. Look at that turtle. Shh. Beautiful. Oh, man. He heard me. Sorry folks, we just missed those two turtles. Not sure what kind of turtles they were, but it looked like they had like red heads. There might be more along here, sunning. And we might be able to catch them. I don't know if I'm gonna catch them on the way back because we probably won't be coming this way. Oh, there's another one just jumped in. It must be all along here. Yeah, look at it. He just went in. felt the vibrations of me walking around here. You might get lucky and see more down the uh, down the trail. I'm trying to be quiet so I can sneak up on one of them and don't have to zoom in as much. This is Tuesday, April 27th, and it also happens to be my birthday. So I wanted to get out and do a nature walk on my birthday too as well. Noisy neighbors. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry. Oh, you, you. I can see why. Okay, 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 okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hurt you. <laughs> I didn't realize I stumbled on a nest here. So, and he is very pissed off that I'm this close. Sorry. He is very peeled that I got that close. Another hen was, another goose there, or oh, Canadian, was protecting her brood there. And there's another one down there. They don't want nothing to do with us. Oh, I see a. Mallard up ahead. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them over there. I'm gonna hurt you, duckies. Hmm. 
They're definitely a warning of my presence. And this is going to be interesting. They'll all probably head to the water as soon as they I get close by. I try to be friendly with nature, but sometimes nature doesn't want to be friendly with us. Classic corgi. Alrighty, I'm just coming through. I'm gonna do my best to go, go nearby. Come on, yeah, head to the water. <laughs> yes, I'm coming. Yes, I'm coming through. Just got to be careful that I'm not stumbling on a, another nest. <laughs> Good job. Thank you for leaving me the pathway there. I'm coming around the other side though. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, I don't know if I will be. I may have to come back down this way. Cause I don't know, I can't, can't really see a path on the other side there. So there might be a possibility that I might be heading back this way. Minding my own little business here. <laughs> I said there was something there at one time. I see a sort of a bridge over there, but I'm not sure if it if it leads to somebody's private land or not. Or is it still part of the conservancy's property? But I'll know, know more or less soon. Like there is a bridge of some sort there, but I'm not sure. I don't want to startle or surprise any wildlife here, so I'm just going to get a quick photo here. Photo up. And like I say, there are some. No idea if this is... Okay, yeah, it does continue on. I see it now. So, there was that bridge that I just took a photo of. And it kind of looks like it's seen its better days. I'm surprised the Conservancy hasn't done anything about this thing yet. Put some decking on it, it looks like. And again, I'm not sure where this goes yet because I've never been to this part, which is awesome. But I could see there's like a side trail here that probably goes to somebody's uh, property here. And I will respect that. I won't be going over there. I'll be just following the, uh, the grassy path here. you have to actually go out to like a far place you know the mountains which I have nothing against I, 
I love the mountains area. Um, sometimes I wish I could afford a place up in the mountains and enjoy like a cabin or something. I don't do hunting or anything like that. I'm a city boy, true and true, who transplanted here to the a smaller city, more like a town to me. It has a the feeling of a small town, but it's growing and changing so much now. Even during the pandemic, it's it's made a lot of ch changes and. Some businesses are are surviving. Many, unfortunately, have had to close their doors. You know, especially a lot of the newer businesses, like restaurants, certain shops that just opened within the last, say, I'd say two to one to three years already. Those guys, I mean, the tourism helped a lot around here in the city and even the surrounding areas because we're not too far, like I said, nearby, uh, we're just nearby Lidditz, not too far from Lidditz also, as well as Brownstown is the closer one, but Lidditz is the one that's a little bit more, getting a little more attention. Um, They've done so many little articles of calling it one of the coolest little towns in America. Not just Pennsylvania anymore. Because I am in Pennsylvania. Hopefully in the near future as restrictions lift going from state to state I'll be able to also venture outside of just Pennsylvania and be true to the title of my channel simply exploring and adventuring and I also aim to have a little more variety instead of just going on these little nature walks or hikes. Um, I'm in the, in the near future, I also intend to continue doing more historical places as well, nearby historical places, um, as well as further away as the uh, finances allow and times allow. I am pretty certain that that trail at some point comes down that way. But I will venture that another day in time when my ankle is at 100% or better, where I know my and could take the uh, the abuse, shall I say, sort of, of the trail and not have to worry. I mean, I still have to worry because I don't want to have another trip and fall like I just did. And I just hope on my way back, <laughs> I have to be a little bit more careful because of that female goose. Uh, protecting her clutch and the male hopefully probably is going to be nearby but I will try to do my best to avoid them as much as possible but unfortunately as you saw already in the earlier footage um, they were very defensive and, I, and they have every right to be because you know they want to protect their future offspring and give them a fighting chance because to us, to, to them, we're just another 
enemy, I guess, if you want to look at it. You know, they don't. They don't see us as friends or whatever. They see us as a threat. That's the word I was looking for. They see us as threats. You know, whenever. Um, I'm going to pause this and flip you around. So you can see me as I'm walking down the path. Millport Conservancy. Now this is a small uh, conservancy and a uh, nice decent little trail. I've been, as you can see it says nature trail there. Um, and it's I believe a partnership between uh, Donegal Trout Unlimited and um, Franklin Marshall College which is my employer <laughs> and I found out found this by accident one day when I was driving through here by through here um, and I did come and do this trail before but unfortunately like I said I was having issues with my uh, that was a neat look at that kids are uh, Trying to make forts, I guess. Now there's several ways to go around this. I came up from this direction one time, which what I, w I will do, I'm just going to walk down this way, probably come right back, um, and then go across the bridge we just, uh, the Carolyn's crossing, and then head right back the other side of the trail over there um, like I said I've done part of this trail before and uh, unfortunately I've, the last time I did it like I was about to explain um, my SD card was giving me trouble so I lost all that footage so I'm here again on a beautiful day it's going to be a near 80 degree day today and how beautiful that is just listening to that other than the helicopter that's coming right over and it's uh looks like to be uh oh, military back off I know a lot of the students from the college come over here to do a lot of their uh, environmental studies as well um, because of working at the college I see a lot of their stuff that they've done their research and stuff they've published stuff people here on the trail so I'm not sure if they're doing trail maintenance or something like that or yep look like he's helping do trail maintenance the gentleman there's got lobber oh he's got his dog that's what it is yeah. All righty. You're friendly? Yeah, you are. <laughs> Mapping out the trail? No, just uh, videoing and stuff like that. Okay. I have a small YouTube channel that I'm trying to get going little by little. So. Oh, okay. So I'm going around. I've been here before, but usually it's on a cloudier day and stuff oh, like okay. that. I haven't been able to get out here when it's a nice, beautiful day like this. So I just wanted to come and enjoy it again. Okay. Yeah. Alright, great. Yep. Enjoy. You too. <laughs> Actually, I should have said, in a way, I am. <laughs>
And eventually we're going to head to the other side over there where that noise is coming from right now. I don't know. I'm not sure what they're doing over there. In the, but it's a long private property there as well too. So uh, like I said, we're just going to walk to the end. And then eventually we're going to end up on the other side over there. We're going to walk back to Caroline's Crossings. And I've been meaning to come back here after uh, for a while now, but uh, I said the weather and other events, like my recent issue with my ankle, which still isn't a hundred percent yet. I was hoping for less noise, but we're also not too far away from Lancaster Airport over in Lidditz. Um, trying to figure out where we actually are. Uh, we're right outside of Lancaster. Um, not too far away from Brownstown, PA. Sorry, I seem to be pointing more toward the uh, ground here <laughs> through the path here that they uh, usually cut with a lawnmower, I guess. Nice little bench here that nice metal bench looks pretty newer it looks wow neat this looks like it's made by a, like a local artisan or something like that i love the uh the hand hammered pebble looks right there on the armrest right there And as you can see, there's the, the path that I was talking about that follows along that property over there. And it just goes around and meanders around. And it does continue toward another parking lot. But I chose this other one that they have open right now. That, um, there are several places along... Uh, darn got the name of the road right now at the moment just passed it and um that you can park in two that maybe holds one or two cars at most in each of those spots um the bigger one has like maybe enough for maybe three tops four so this is this parking area takes us sim not too far away from where um, I parked at, it's similar on there, but we're gonna continue on the nature trail here. There is also another private residence to my right here again. And there's another split off here to go that toward that parking area. Um, more than likely we'll come back this way. Um, I don't know yet, <laughs> cause I still wanna go down to the other side of the creek here and uh, and walk that way and go over Caroline's Crossing. Caroline's, Caroline's. 
as you probably saw on the sign when we were approaching it. And this is what I was mostly looking for to hear the sounds of nature. But um, unfortunately, since we're kind of in an agricultural area as well, there's going to be a lot of farm equipment you're going to hear in the background. Um, commercial traffic as well. So, but you can still hear the sounds of nature even over my voice, hopefully. It's a nice, simple trail. Um, I think there's only one place here that has a nice little incline supposed to be kind of like a little overlook type thing um, I'm gonna attempt it because like I said my ankle is still about maybe 95% I still got to go through some physical therapy okay see now there's another split in the road here and then there's another bridge we're going to cross and as well there's uh, another area over there where I said that you can park at if you can see that gate over there in the distance right through the, where the trail here is that's another area where you can come. And I had usually parked over there, and then I found that um, off Millport Road is the other one. Um, Warwick Road is, that's Warwick Road. That's the one I couldn't remember. But um, if you take Warwick Road, um, you have to do several roads. Becker Road, if you want to get here uh, in the Lancaster area, you want to find Becker Road. And then you want to make a left onto Millport Road and then follow Millport Road down. There's a feed place. Um, can't miss it. It has a, it's a big brown building there. And you go a little bit past the feed place on, on Millport and you'll find the main parking area. But there's also a few other parking areas. And like I said, you can walk around here the bridge is right behind me we're gonna head that way next but just want to show you these areas here and the creek kind of continues on and meanders right through here and turns and we're gonna follow that way eventually but just wanted to do a small hike today just to try to get more exercise to my foot here i'm not sure if i should be really doing this but i'm doing it anyway because i get tired of sitting at home and and i know even at work which i'm on light duty right now um i'm only limited to be on my feet for about four hours tops so like I said, there's several ways to get here, but I think the way you're really supposed to park is over there by Millport, the Millport parking lot. They have a um, cordoned off parking lot with that type of fencing over there. As you saw in the, on the drive-in, you know, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the drive here as well. And as you notice, probably in the intro, I shaved my whiskers off a little bit here because it's now warmer. I only like having that on 
mostly for the winter months. So like I said, um, this is another area where you can actually park. Uh, you can probably fit two cars here. Like I said, this is um, Warwick Road. Sorry, lost my train of thought there. And it says the, the trail continues up. It's pointing like it's alongside the road. Uh, I have yet to do the full, I think it does like a full circle down toward, uh, oh, what is it? 320, 722, I believe. Or is it 772? One of them two. <laughs> so we're turning around. And as you can hear, right up above me there is a small private plane, which is what most of the it's a small municipal airport, but we do have smaller jets that come into that um, commuter airlines that come through that um, into that airport as well at various times of the day. And it connects you, I believe, either to uh, Baltimore as well as Pittsburgh is one of them. I'm not sure if they do Philadelphia. And there's another... I'm just going to do a big loop around and then continue back around. Just trying to show you. I'm going over this concrete type bridge here. And like I said, we're heading back to the split and then make, making a, a loop back around toward the bridge, uh, the wooden bridge. We're going to cross another one. Sorry, there was, had a little bit of discomfort there with my ankle. So I'm not trying to overdo it today. Oh, wow. Cool. I never noticed this before. Wow. Been here before, but I never really noticed that. Right there. There's this gate there looks like to control the water going into the uh, into the pond area I guess this is like a pond over there and we were just here as you can see there's the parking sign and the trail sign and we will continue this way to the bridge back toward the bridge And like I said, there is kind of like a small overlook right up there. You can see the bench up there. There's a little trail that heads up there. I think that's like the high point here, but there's also uh, a private property up there. So we have to be kind of careful. Um, I'm going to do this, but I believe that other trail comes up this way too at some point i'm gonna come back this way again i was gonna wait and come back just once and twice but down and head down to the little shoreline here and get a beautiful shot here.
ducks over there. Mallards maybe, looks like from here. Check this out. Beautiful, isn't it? Carefully follow this. Gonna make our way up to a, a little overlook here. And as we can see up ahead is the uh, private property and they have also put a chain here you know, along the fence the property line to remind people of to stay on the this side of the, of the chain and on the property here. Not sure what this is. Almost looks like an old well. And then there's the uh, here's the nice little bench. It looks like kind of seen better days, but. The views are spectacular from up here. I'm gonna walk over a little bit and work carefully. Upper view of the 
Let me see if I can catch both little waterfalls there. And there is a sign up here, like I was saying, it does continue. There's the says the sign says nature trail. It's a little bit uh worn there, they need to just paint the words dark again and stuff. But we will be well, we will be going down oh, there we go. Down that way in a little while on our way back and maybe out to the back to the car. So for the time being, we're just going to head down the trail here and then continue down this way because I know the trail goes another certain way over here, but I got to figure that out because I didn't get a chance. Yeah, so... Show you walking around. There's there's the creek still. Let's see, a 360 view. Don't want to drive you nuts and make you sick. But I just came from back that way. Like I said the trail just it will continue straight, and then it comes off to a barrier like like this one that I'm approaching. But you can't see it until I pass it. So you come up to the barrier similar to that off the one road up there. I'm not sure if that's a driveway to someone's home or if it's just a, a, a roadway that goes up that way. And I haven't been up that way yet. Or I may have and just don't realize it that that's part of that. So I'm trying to be a little bit more. I know we just came down this little incline here, this pathway. Trying to keep this steady and also be mindful of my ankle as well. So. Thank you for being understanding of the, uh, the, the uh, bounciness of this of this uh, video right now. Like I said, right behind me is that sign we saw earlier somewhere. Wait, let's see if I can see it. I think it is right there behind me move back up to it and you can see it says nature trail so I'm gonna wrap it up from here Mill Park Conservancy uh, if you're in the area look this place up and have a go at it and enjoy this little uh, tour hike whatever you want to call it, um, nature walk with me or with someone else again. Till then, I'll see you on the next one. And remember, go create your own adventure. Bye.